Sometimes it is difficult to understand the word of God. We have two stories here, Philistines and Israel. And then again, the leper and Jesus. Israel is supposed to be people of God. And God was with them in a special way. The ark, which contained the Ten Commandments, represented the presence of God for them. Philistines were pagans, and in the battle that ensued, God allowed them to be killed. 30,000, we are said. Now, if he was their God and he was with them, how could this happen? Then we are story of the leper. We are told that Jesus felt sorry for him, pitied him, and cured him. And after curing him, he tells him, do not tell this to anyone. And Jesus was very stern about it. We can look at our own life, all of us. Look at the things that happen in our life. And we can see that sometimes it just didn't make any sense the way things turn out to be. There are so many things in our life that we can recall we didn't expect to happen. We are not even about the future. To some extent, we know the present that can change any time, and so also the future to a very little extent. How often we are said, I never thought this would happen to us. But you and I know it's that God is with us. He's guiding us, watching over us, protecting us, leading us. So it's part of the thing that happened in our life, we don't, we don't seem to understand. We are still asked, you see, to be faithful to the Lord. Not to get panicky, not to be afraid. Because when you look at the past, somehow God brought us through. So also he will do in the future. We don't understand everything and we never understand fully. Only God knows the past, the present and the future. Everything is for him here and now, not to us. So we should not be surprised to see that times we do say, you know, how could this happen to me, you know? So let us therefore have that confidence in God. The story of Israel is a perfect example, you know. They are surrounded by enemies all the time. Every nation hates them. And Israel has survived. Every time it is attacked, they come out stronger. Now and then they had to learn the lesson when they forgot God, violated his Ten Commandments, they had to pay for it. And they realized that. The whole slavery in Egypt from the when they taken, they brought it upon themselves. And once they realized 
God was there once again. So no use telling ourselves at times, you know, I have not done anything wrong. I love God. I go to church. I do this. I do that. How could this happen? If you find that difficult to understand, then let's look at Jesus. Look at him at the cross. What wrong had he done? To what an extent, you see, he was led. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And God came to his help. God saved him. Yes, they put him to death. But God raised him up on the third day again. And he is still with us. So let us ask the Lord, you see, to not to be afraid. It's part of the difficulties and problems and unknowns. Let's hold on to him. Because when everything is said and done, he is all that we have, the Lord Jesus. We stand for the prayers of the faithful.